Hey guys, this is Ultima from S3R Gamers, and welcome back to Ultima Plays Final Fantasy VII. This is episode 9, so... Oh, and this is the first time we're introduced to Eris' lovely theme. Ultima, wasn't it? It's about Jean, isn't it? Sorry, the Shinra have her. I do not remember them saying the Shinra ever, but I know, they took her from here. They were here? That's what Jean wanted. Why is Shinra after Jean? Jean is an ancient, the sole survivor. W what did you say? But aren't you her mother? Not her real mother. It must have been 15 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent from to the front some faraway place called Wutai. Keep that in mind later. One day I went to the station because I got a letter saying he was coming home on leave. By the way, it's one of my favorite parts of the game. I just think it's a really cool, like, storytelling moment. And then, obviously, you get introduced to Eris' theme playing lovely in the background. It really sets a nice tone for everything. Shut up, phone. I'm having a moment here. As you see, uh, obviously, a lot of people reuniting on the train after war. I imagine that's a common scene during times of war. I don't know about common, but I guess. You know. Oh! <laughs> well, she tried, right? And they're like, oh, bye. Hopefully your husband comes home. And then she's obviously expecting. And he says, nope, there's no one else here. Mm. My husband never came back. I wonder if something happened to him. No, I'm sure his leave was just canceled. I went to the station every day, then one day. Uh, well, that girl looks awfully like someone you know. Not just the little girl, the, the adult girl too. <clears throat> so, is she gonna talk? Okay. She's having like a deaf moment here. You used to see this sort of thing a lot during the war. Her last words were, please take Jean somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child. I was lonely. So I decided to take her home with me. I, I love how if her husband had came back and she already had children, <laughs> she would, would you not have taken her home? But all seriousness aside, I mean, all joking aside, Jean and I became close very quickly. That child loved to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. She told me she escaped from some kind of research laboratory and that her mother had already returned to the planet, so she wasn't lonely. Many other things. And right, now we're back in the living room. Return to the planet. I didn't know what she meant. I asked if she meant a star in the sky, but she said it was the planet. She was a mysterious child in many ways. Mom. Oh, and then, yeah, and then it shifts from that to that, and then we're gone. She's grown up a little now. She's wearing brown dresses. Please don't cry. Jean just blurted that out all of a sudden when I asked her if something happened. Someone dear to you has just died. His spirit was coming to see you, but he's already returned to the planet. At the time, I didn't believe her. But several days later, we received a notice saying my husband died. And that was it. A lot had happened, but we were happy until one day. We want you to return Jean to us. We've been searching for her for a long time. No, never. Jean, you're a very special child. You're of special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. Actually, I should be doing this in his weird voice. At that moment, I found out she was an ancient. The ancients will lead us to the land of supreme happiness. Jean will be able to bring happiness to all of us, those in the slums. That is why Shinra would like Jean's cooperation. He's wrong. I'm not an ancient. I'm not. But Jean, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone. No, I don't. But I knew. I knew about her mysterious powers. She tried so hard to hide it, so I acted as though I've never noticed. It's amazing how she's avoided the Shinra for all these years. 
the Shinra needed her, so I guess they wouldn't harm her. Okay, this has got to be a translation thing, because I'm pretty confident in the PlayStation version, they never s referred to them as the Shinra. So, uh, my guess is that in the original translation, since this is ob obviously clearly fixed, um, based on the, this guy is sick, uh, originally they must have been the Shinra, at least in Japanese. But why now? She brought a little girl here with her. Sing found them on their way here. She probably wasn't fast enough to get away. She decided to go to Shinra in exchange for the little girl's safety. Marlene. Marlene? Jean was caught because of Marlene? I'm sorry. Marlene's my daughter. I'm really sorry. You're her father? How in the world could you ever leave a child alone like that? Please don't start with that. I'm always thinking about what might happen to Marlene if I... But you gotta understand something. I don't got any answers. I want to be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. Because if I don't, the planet's gonna die. So I'm gonna keep fighting. But inside, I'm always thinking of her. I just want to be with her, always. See, I'm going in circles now. I think I know what you mean. She's upstairs asleep. Why don't you go and see her? I'd just like to point out at this point in time that... This is probably one of the things about Final Fantasy 7 that I think it does so well is that there's just such it's like it's almost like the world is like fleshed out it's you know there was a time before this game happened and there was so much that happened and it's not to say other games don't do that well and fine there's even other Final Fantasy games that do this pretty well I mean Final Fantasy 6 did this pretty well from what I gathered and granted I played it like a year ago but from what I remember, that game did it pretty well too. Um, but this game just has such a, a everyone just has like you know a, a, a motivation, a purpose, a reason for why they're here and what they're doing. And sometimes I think that can be lost in you know in games. And obviously RPGs, you know, they're more story heavy, so you know it's easier for them to do it because they get the opportunity to sort of make a longer game and have you know a deeper story but just one of these moments is always my favorite because it, it just like it makes everyone feel alive you know like this is an actual person and this is her actual story and you know and even though we only caught glimpses we still caught you know such a strong uh, moment there so but anyway alright let's go it's my fault I was the one who got Gene involved in this don't say that. Jean doesn't think so. <sighs> <sighs> Alright. Now it's time to go up the stairs. I probably should stop gushing over the game. I'm so glad I'm so glad you're alright. Daddy, don't cry, your whiskers hurt. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna leave here. Ultima. Oh, is that Ultima? You're gonna go help Jean, right? She's done so much for me. If the Shinra were involved, I ain't staying here. I'm coming too. Guess what? Guess what? Jean asked me a lot of questions like what kind of person Ultima is. I bet she likes you, Ultima. I don't know. Dummy. Yeah, I really don't care. Dummy. Well, sorry. Jeez. Anyway. Stupid little girl calling me a dummy. You're a dummy. You probably can't even count to a hundred. Yeah, now who's stupid? Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, I guess it's time to go. You're going after Jean, right? Yeah. I'm coming with you. We're going right into Shinra headquarters. You gotta be prepared for the worst. I know. Right now I feel I have to push myself to the limit. If I stayed here, I'd go crazy. Well, someone's running with quite a weight below them. Sorry, but can you take care of Marlene a bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. This place is dangerous now. You better go somewhere else. You're right, but promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. <laughs> I love how he didn't say, Yeah, I won't get myself killed. He's just like, everyone just looked at each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how do we get to the Shinra building? There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Hmm. Well, let's go to the wall market. We might be able to find something there.
Let's just save it, just just for the sake of it. Oh, I was like, eh, no, no, I do not want to quit. Oh my gosh. That would have been horrible. That would have been absolutely awful. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. Being being towards the end of June, it's close to the 4th of July, and people like to light fireworks all day. Um... Uh, guys, you just kind of, oh, thank God, lady, I was worried. I thought a time had frozen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that kid. Those two guys were like mid-conversation. They both just stopped. All right, back to the wall market we go. By the way, I am still thoroughly impressed at how easily I did the wall market in this game. Oh, it's a side attack. Cool. All right. Uh, let's just attack him. Let me see if he has anything to steal. Nothing to steal. Okay, good. Using Hell Bomber on poor Charlotte there. All right. Uh, let's just. All right. Suicide drop. Who are you using it on? Oh, you're using it on us, huh? See, you just keep alternating, hitting him in the back, and then it's just do super damage. Although, I guess one thing I'm curious about, does Luna attack? Luna attack. Oh, like lunatic. How clever. Nah. Use ice on him. I think that should kill him. Yep. Now I, now I got limit breaks for the next punks that try to fight me. The next punks that try to fight me and die. But I'm still third in play. Actually, I feel like I'm getting through this game fairly quickly. I mean, it's no, like, speed run, but for someone who's not rushing through the game, I feel like I'm just, like, progressing well, especially considering I'm commentating, too, and capping, and there's obviously, like, a lot of other stuff going on. Ooh, okay. Let's use our limit break. Darn it! Oh, yeah. Dude, look at me. Block all those deep. All right, dead. I'll do it on. I'll do it on hole eater C in the back row. Hole eater, hole eater. I oh, yeah, I think I've already made that joke. Never mind. Well, I killed him. Thank God. See, I want something to survive so everyone can see that how crotch last causes stop. I guess paralysis essentially stop. No. Well, the unfortunate part is that playing this on Steam, I. The way the controls are set up, for whatever reason, it doesn't recognize the, um, the pad. Like, the, uh, oh god, what's it called? Not gamepad, because that's like the name of, like, a controller. Somersault gained! Woo woo! Um, the, not the control, directional pad, the D-pad, that's right. Yeah, so for whatever reason, it, it doesn't recognize the D-pad, so I have to use, like, the stick... Which this game was made to be used with like, I mean it seems helpful, but this game was made to be used with a directional pad. So, I don't know, sometimes it just feels a little off. But I am playing, I'm playing this on a on an Afterglow PS3 controller, mainly because I wanted to su semi-recreate the experience. And so I'm playing this on a, although to be fair, the, it, the um, PS3 Afterglow controller is actually uh, swap the directional pad and the left thumbstick to make it more um, like the Xbox controller. But either way. Alright, no, that's not what I need. You going up to the plate? You better have batteries. You're going to sell me something you just found? Hey, you knew I repaired them, so it's alright. Why do I need batteries to come up to the plate? You'll find out when you get there. About, how about 100 gil for each? Alright, I'll take them. Batteries. How much gil did I lose? Okay, three three batteries. Oh, this part's gonna be so fun. So much fun. So I just want everyone to know, first and foremost, that there might be a, a fast forward coming, and it'll be one of the very few fast forwards that we will see in this series. Because anything else I would fast forward would be like grinding, and that would just be done off camera. But yeah, so basically, uh Okay. Just a normal wire. Oh yeah, well to me it looks like a gold shiny wire of hole. <laughs> oh. 
So yeah, we have to now climb this ladder, um, like ladder. We have to climb this wire to get up to Shinra headquarters because this will take us to the top of the plate and then we just walk there from there. You're right, it's the only way to save Jean. Okay, that was a bad analogy, but Rex, I understand how you feel. <laughs> I love how you guys to feel. Look, man, I like your effort. That was a terrible analogy, but we'll keep going. Let's go. <sighs> All right, now we start some epic music going on. Avril Lavigne, no mercy. B bold, bold is what I'm gonna assume it says. Oh man, this is horrible. Hey, scary, huh? Dad told me that it's sh it's Shinra's doing. Okay, let me walk over it. I'm trying to. Oh, okay, actually, never mind. I have to do this. For some reason, I thought I could stop. Get stop it. There we go. Now there we go. Maybe if I put a battery in it, the propeller might work. I guess I'll just have to believe the shopkeeper. Uh. Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. I mean, this is seriously like... Keep in mind, at the time, this was like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like, this is like, unreal. So, you also gotta understand that, that portion of it. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Need a battery here, too. Ba-boom. Oh, oh, my God. Okay, so this is the part I was mentioning that might require me to fast forward because there's one other part in this game that I do even worse at but this is probably the second worst part I'm at the second second worst part of my ability at this game is timing the stupid jump on this wire oh my god oh why me I kid you not I have never mastered this it's like one of those things and it's just like, oh, you just have to do it when, you know, it blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, I promise you, I do that when everything says I'm supposed to and it doesn't work. So clearly, I just don't understand what you're doing. Oh, my gosh. Jump too soon. Why? Why are you tormenting me? Game, I've sung your praises for over 15 years. Why won't you just let me know how to do this? Oh my gosh. And it sucks because you know the moment you jump, you know what it is. Because there's like a different... After you play this game one time, there's a different animation. Oh my god, why? I can't believe this. This goes on much longer. I'm going to have to speed up. Oh my god. Ah, uh, jump too late. So, I mean... <sighs> oh, thank God. I made it. Hallelujah. Honor and power. Something and glory. I don't know. This is like a hymn. Well, praise, worship, something. Whatever. Just whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Uh, oh, that's right, that gives me an item. I don't remember what it is. Oh, crap. I don't remember what that item is. It might be something good. God, it might be an elixir, though. Uh, can't believe I'm doing this. I don't think, actually, there might not be a way to get back. Oh, I think about it. Oh, no, there is. Is there a way to get back? I don't know. Can I get back? I don't think... Oh, my gosh. I think I just missed it in general. Yeah, there's no way to get back. Okay, well, I missed the item. I want to say it's an elixir. We can go a little long on this episode, though, because I went shorter on the other episode. And by a little long, I mean very, very little... Okay, there we go. 
This is part's always tricky to me. Oh no, I'm stupid. I just dropped down here. Need a battery here too. Boom. What is that? Received an F. It's just an F. Oh my god, and now I have to make this stupid jump again. Okay. I'll tell you what. Nothing else exciting happens, so I'm gonna wait till I get back to the top, and I will see you next time for more of Ultimate Play's Final Fantasy VII.